video we'll discuss about facial hemi atrophy so as the name suggests there is going to be atrophy so it is basically the slowly progressive atrophy slowly progressive atrophy of soft tissue of essentially half of the face characterized by progressive wasting of subcutaneous fat also it can uh, also uh, it can also involve the atrophy of the skin cartilage bone muscle now other names are it is also called as parry romberg syndrome also progressive hemifacial atrophy now coming on to the etiology uh, etiology has it is multifactorial it is uh, due to some trauma or it can be hereditary or it can be due to cerebral disturbance infection and many more now coming on to the clinical features now uh, what we, what happens is we see this during the first decade and uh, it remains till 3 years before it dis disappears or subsides uh, or it becomes quiescent also it occurs more more in females than in males then uh, the first sign is painless cleft near the midline of face near midline of face then a bluish hue starts appearing on the skin overlying the fat then there is ipsilateral atrophy atrophy of salivary glands as well as the tongue then it can be accompanied by pigmentation disorders also vitiligo now uh, it can also lead to the uh, since uh, there is a uh, fat that is being atrophied so it can also lead to the uh, hollow cheeks now a very important factor uh, to remember as in scleroderma what we saw was we saw that there was uh, basically in the midline of the scalp we saw that there was a large linear scar okay there was a sharp line of demarcation that same happens in facial hemiatrophy so uh, scleroderma forms as one of the differential diagnoses of hemifacial atrophy now coming on to the oral manifestations what we see is there is incomplete root formation then there is delayed eruption severe facial asymmetry difficulty in mastication hemiatrophy of lips and tongue also delayed development of jaw bone delayed development of jaw bone uh then coming on to the differential diagnosis in this remember this syndrome it is very important and usually asked in questions golden heart syndrome also uh, since it is a uh, fat atrophy so post traumatic fat atrophy also a uh, hemifacial microsomia now uh, there is no specific uh, treatment as such no specific treatment it progresses slowly for years and then it becomes quiescent however we can do uh, plastic surgery also uh, the malocclusion can be corrected by uh, orthodontic therapy so this completes the development of anomalies of the jaw after this we will uh, discuss about the anomalies of uh, the tongue